I can't believe it turned brown. I'm so sad. This plant is particularly um, fussy. <laughs> so the reason why I purchased another version of a plant that I already had is because when I purchased my first taniki, taneki, I don't know how to say it, it wasn't the healthiest and I purchased it anyway because it was the most bushy plant I had ever seen of that variety. Usually these plants are very expensive because they are variegated and everybody wants them. And I had only seen up until that point like single stalks that were only like six inches big, like not big at all. And they'd be selling for like $50, $60. So when I saw such a big plant, I was like, boom, I'm gonna get it. I'm just gonna like practice on this plant so that way when I find another really healthy, juicy version of this, I'll be confident in it. And I'm really glad that I did that because this plant definitely has a learning curve. So I found it this weekend. I was just in Victoria at Ponce, Ponce City Market. That's like my favorite plant shop for real. And I was just in there trying to get some dirt, actually. I was trying to get some soil for another plant and I saw it and I fell in love instantly <laughs> and me and Vernon were getting sushi I left the table to go get the dirt before the plant shop closed but I went back and told him I was like yeah I fell in love while I was gone and we literally like finished our food quickly and went and grabbed the plant before it closed the shop closed in like 20 minutes so my baby loved me <laughs> and also I have to make sure I run plant purchases by him because plants can really like take over your space and I'm trying not to do that again. This plant needs a lot of light and my apartment does not get light. At first I was just gonna compromise and only have low light plants, but that's not where my heart is. I really like some plants that need bright light. So essentially I'm purchasing a grow light. What I was kind of freaking out about just now is I just purchased this plant on Saturday and they did tell me like when you change the environment of this plant, it can get some brown leaves. So don't forget if that happens. And literally three of the leaves are brown and two of the leaves look burnt. And I'm like, you are so perfect, oh my God. So yeah, let me get this grow light, for real. I, don't, I can't, I don't have any time to waste at this point. I can't believe it turned brown, I'm so sad. So when I first got this plant, I probably should've took a picture. It was perfect. Actually, I think I did take a picture, I'll put it here. It was perfect, there was no browning whatsoever. Look at this, it's like browning and curling up. This was not here, this right here, this browning in there. Um, so no, I put that light on like, get here as soon as possible. see now that like earlier today I was a bit frantic um, which kind of happens like when I wake up and I have things to do and then I don't meditate uh -oh. I get I get a bit frantic 
I am preparing for the live now. It's in 56 minutes. So I do need to like, of course, get dressed and things. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair down because <laughs> um, I need to give it time to fall. So I'm just gonna create a nice cozy space. I would have liked to have had my office like organized and cleaned before this live. But, say lovey, <laughs> such is life. I'm just gonna clear my desk off, set my tripod up. So yeah, let's get to it. So excited for this talk. I'm gonna have you guys set up somewhere so you can see like a pequeño, a little bit of it. Um, but if you wanna see the full video of the live, make sure you click the link in my description box because I know, I just have a feeling it's gonna be really good. I put myself in a reality that's like very congruent with my timetable so like for me 2022 is all about like balance balance in all things balance in business balance in family balance in friends balance in myself so i spend a lot of time thinking like how could i be more balanced so i feel like i'm more conscious of time because i don't want to lose myself like i don't want to work all day and then not feed myself or not check in with my family you know um so i've just been making a very conscious effort to think about how I spend my time and honestly it makes me feel better it makes me feel like more I feel more present thinking about the time and making sure that I'm hitting all the things that are important to me and not letting things like die and wither you know you were just confirming what I did today because I've been feeling that and I put the back of my notebook to literally break down my day yeah You are. You're already there. Like you already got the message. Like you're. You've already planned it out. I love that. <sighs> I love going live. Like it's crazy though. Mm. Sorry, I'm like really tight from what I did yesterday. I'm gonna tell you guys more about that now. I wanted to share with you guys about my birthday experience um, because I didn't vlog, but I did take some video. And basically with this year, I turned 28. I am 28. And when I tell you on the day of my birthday, I looked in the mirror and I said, hmm, you look more mature. Like I feel more mature. I feel like I'm at an age where it's like, like either you're about it or you're not. Like I was telling Bernie, it's like either you fugazi or you real. Like either you're going to be the woman that you've always wanted to be. Like this is, I would dream about the woman that I am now when I was a teenager, when I was in middle school. And I feel like the woman that I want to become, I used to dream about when I was in my early 20s. And I feel like now, like, is the time. If I'm going to do it, now is my time to do it. And I'm already doing it to an extent, but it's really like buckling down with the discipline, the self-discipline and like the self-consistency that's going to take me where I really want to go. And I'm ready for it. And so I really wanted to celebrate this new year of life. I always think of birthdays as like New Year's. So like this new year that I'm stepping into, I wanted to reflect on 27 and celebrate this new space that we're entering. I basically had like all my family stuff planned and I was like, okay, you take care of my actual day because I have no clue. And Vernon did so good. Everything was a surprise and it was the best surprise. So we went jet skiing. Um, which I was not anticipating at all. Like first I thought we were going to Whitewater because he had mentioned Whitewater that day and I was like, oh, okay, this is where we're going. Then we got to, we went to a marina and I was like, oh, we're probably gonna go out on a boat because Vernon was in the Navy so he has his boating license, he knows how to drive boats and he always talks about how he wants to drive a boat. So I was like, okay, that sounds fun. I guess we're going on a boat. And then he like checked us in and he came to the car and he's like, okay, so we're gonna be riding jet skis. And I was like, I love jet skis. <laughs> So it just got better and better like what I, with what I thought the surprise was going to be. So we rode jet skis and it was an amazing experience for two hours. It was so freeing. Seriously, like if you want to let loose, go run a jet ski. Go run a jet ski. You will feel on top of the world. So we did that. Then we got some food, came home, got prepared for dinner. And then we went to dinner. Um, oh, oh, actually <laughs> there was another surprise. That's what I actually want to tell you guys about. So this was crazy. 
okay it was crazy and i'm not saying this to brag at all y'all i promise i'm not saying this to brag i just wanted to share because like i'm in awe of how much brennan and i have grown together we started dating when we were 18 and now we're 28 years old like and life is just crazy different like the life that we would dream for ourselves in college like in our dorm we would be thinking like oh this is what i want to do like we do we do that to some extent now but on the way to dinner we were getting dinner at um this restaurant that we like to go to because it's where we had our wedding reception and that's like in gwinnett county and we were driving and at some point i kind of realized i was like okay this is not gwinnett county <laughs> we're definitely uh like near druid hills like in atlanta and Brennan was like mm, we are and i was like oh yeah uh, what's happening he's like don't worry about it just just keep riding so we're i'm thinking like okay maybe we're not going to dinner where i thought we were and then we pull up to lennox and then i was like why are we here like then i remembered we were just in lennox on saturday um and we were looking at some the the AirPod Max things, those things from Apple. And I was like, I know he is not about to get those for me. Like that is a lot, like, oh my God, not, I don't even, do, do I need that? You know, I just automatically start thinking those things. And then he didn't even park near the Apple store. So I was like, okay, this is really throwing me off. And then we parked in front of Neiman's, you guys, Neiman's. And that's when it dawned on me. And I was like, stop. Stop. Like I was literally, I've never been shook before in my life. I was shook. I was like, are you serious? We walked into Neiman's. We walked into the YSL place. I don't know what you call it. Um, whatever. And <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Huh? Hmm. What the heck? <laughs> I was um shook shook okay literally anxiety sweating like holy crap no like what is happening right now I was not expecting this this is the girl I don't even know what it's called because I just I didn't just realize I wanted I've wanted this bag for a long 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 time but I just let myself go to YSL on Saturday to look at the bag and like really get a feel like do I want this it's the wallet on chain um it's the black on black colorway that's probably not how you say that <laughs> but that's how i'm saying it it's the black on black colorway i really wanted to get a bag i'm going to show you guys the bag that this replaced i needed an everyday bag that wasn't too like girly i'm not a purse carrier there we go i'm not a purse carrier so I wanted something that was like discreet, sophisticated, luxe, elevated, like I could dress it up, dress it down because I don't need a lot of purses. So I really want all the ones that I have to be functional. Um, you can carry it so many ways. You can carry it as a top handle, how I had it before. You can carry it on your shoulder. And then what's the other way that you can carry it? Oh, you can double it up completely and like shorten the chain and then carry it like that. I feel like whenever you do something you just never thought was for you, you're like, wow, I can do this. And your mind just expands about what's possible. Um, but yeah, I never invested that amount of money in myself just individually before. And it just happened like that because on Saturday I had seen it and I was like, okay, I'll probably like work toward this. So I was anticipating getting it like mid 2022. And literally I had the goal for two days because two days later Vernon bought it for me. So girl, that was, that was, that was an experience. Okay. That was very memorable. And the fact that he really surprised me is like, that means everything to me because I love a surprise. So... it's so pretty look how pretty she is it's the pebbled leather the textured leather and it's just so cute let me show you the bag that it's replacing so this right here this is what i have been using for the past three four years like when i tell you i'm not a purse girl i'm not okay this was enough for me because i don't even want to i don't even know just give me my my lipstick, lip balm, excuse me, 
my um, money, my keys, period. That's all I need. And the only thing about this is I couldn't hold my phone in it. So I was constantly like losing my phone. Like I lose everything, but I find it like two seconds later. I just put it somewhere different every time. It was an epic birthday. It's probably like one of my favorite birthdays yet because I feel like I really did stuff that I wanted to do. Like it wasn't about like, oh, let's go out, let's drink. Cause that's really not me. Like I can do it sometimes, but that's not how I want to spend my birthday. Like being in nature, being around people that like I love and like I don't feel weird around and like people who charge me up, not people who drain my energy. That's what's most important. And I really like stay true to myself this birthday and celebrated myself, which can be a bit difficult for me to do. I really have to make a conscious effort to do that. But I'm about to go get my nails done, a little birthday treat to myself. And here's what I'm wearing. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys because I felt really cute. So I have on this Power Pivot tank from Lululemon. I think it's in like the butternut squash color or something like that, like the butternut color. And I have this in a size 10. Um, I did like size up because it, I feel like their tanks kind of fit a little bit tight. So I got a size 10. I have their groove pants, which is like their yoga pant, which has a 32 and a half inch inseam. Y'all, I have really long legs and I'm always worried about pants not hitting and these hit, okay? So this is the groove pant in the Nulu fabric, so it's really like soft and buttery. Can you see that? And then this is in the ribbed fabric. So I'm either thinking I'm going to wear this, which is my Ivy Park uh, black pack, like windbreaker, or I'm going to wear this. And I would prefer, honestly, to wear this. I just think it might be I'm not late. <laughs> I have my GPS on right now. So if I leave right this second, I'll get there at 11.53. So I need to leave. Yeah, this matches way better. It's just so much bigger. That's the only thing, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wear this. And plus it's cold, a jean jacket is not gonna cut it. But I can like scrunch it up. I don't wear shoes in my house, so <laughs> I can't show you guys that. But we're going to head out so we're not late. So you know when you go to clean one thing in your house and somehow you end up cleaning the whole world? Yeah, <laughs> that's what happened here. Thursday ended up being my self-care day and I like to hit the corners with a broom before I go in with my sweeper vacuum thing. You don't have to do that, but I just feel like it's a lot more clean when I do that. Also, I tried stainless steel cleaner for the first time and girl, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going off vibes, okay? It was very streaky when I was done, but hey, I tried it. Here's the finished look. And then when I was done cleaning, I took some time to decompress doing yoga. And y'all, Ariana Elizabeth on YouTube is the GOAT. If you want to do yoga at home, highly recommend 10 out of 10. This is the end of this vlog. I am going to pick up where I left off 
very soon. The video is already edited part two. So you guys can see more self-care vibes as well as some really big news. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye girl. Thank mm -hmm. you.